Hi guys, and welcome to our WWE Clash of Champions prediction video. Yes, the final pay-per-view of 2017, and uh, it's been a very, I think, a very good year for WWE this year so far. I mean, we've got on to the final pay-per-view. It feels like it's been a long time since the Royal Rumble. What do you think? Um, yeah, Royal Rumble match was good, yep. apart from Roman being... Number 30, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. Royal Rumble was great. Um, WrestleMania Rumble, was amazing. Yeah, we've had the um, Superstar Shake Up. Mm. Um, what else? Uh, loads, loads of heel turns. SummerSlam, Survivor Series, yeah. Sami Zayn's a heel. Lot, lots of heel uh, turns still, this year. Still, so still, many. Still jobbing. Mm. But, um, yeah, been a good year all around for mm. um, WWE. And hopefully, AJ Styles will end the year as WWE Champion. Because Maybe. Maybe. AJ Styles. AJ yeah. Styles. Okay, well, yeah, it has been a really good year. We've had some great matches, um, some great reviews, and yeah, I look forward to our prediction videos in 2018. So, uh, yeah, let's just start with the final pay per view of the year um, SmackDown only Clash of Champions, where every championship belt is defended. All three of them, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Five matches have been yep. announced so far. There still is a SmackDown next week, is there, I think? So Yeah, there's one more SmackDown next week, and then we have on the next, the 18th, yeah. So, the first match um, announced yesterday, mm -hmm. Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Okay. With Shane McMahon as the special guest referee, and if Owens and Zayn lose, they are fired from the WWE. Not just SmackDown Live, all of it. They can't go to Raw. Forever and ever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this got announced last night, didn't it, on SmackDown? Um... Should be a good match. Should be a decent triple threat match. A triple threat. Um, single tag team match. Um, yeah. Who have you got to win and why? Mm. Well, I guess I, I kind of have to say Owens and Zayn. I don't think... Yeah, they're not going anywhere, are they? I mean, Randy got a win over Zayn last night on SmackDown anyway. Yep. And, well, uh, I think they're going to drag the feud on for a while, a bit longer. Maybe, maybe even I don't know. Maybe something to do with Daniel Bryan. Maybe, even if they lose, Daniel Bryan might just try and keep them there or something. But, yeah. Um, no, I, I don't think they're going to put them in, in the position where they can be fired. So I think Owens and Zayn are going to win the match. Yeah, yeah, I, I think the same. I think Owens and Zayn will win, but it won't be clean. I think they'll cheat. Or Daniel Bryan will come out and keep them, keep them, let them. Cause Maybe. Because the, there's been a lot of tension lately between Daniel Bryan and Shane, like as if, as if Daniel Bryan's turning heel. Or apparently he wants to return to the ring next year. There's been a lot of rumours. Daniel Bryan versus Shane McMahon? Maybe, yeah. So maybe he'll come out and help Sammy and Owen stay in, win and stay in WWE. Because let's face it, they're not, they're not going to go anywhere. They're two of WWE's biggest talents, underused talents at the minute. So yeah, they're not going anywhere. At, at least they'll move to Raw maybe next year, back, back to Raw. But we'll, but we'll see. But yeah, I think it should be a good match, but I'm going to go with Sammy and, Sh Sammy and Shane. Sammy and KO to uh, win and stay in WWE. Right, um, so we have a Fatal 4-Way tag team match for WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championships between the champions, the Usos, Jimmy and Jay, The New Day, Big E, uh, Kofi Kingston and or Xavier Woods, um, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin and... Mm -hmm. Rusev and Aiden English. What, they're in the match now too. Oh, Rusev right. and Aiden English are in the match. Oh, I, didn't, I thought it was just a triple threat match. Oh, oh right. right. Oh, that spices things up a bit, doesn't it? Ooh, and it's a fatal four-way tag team match. So all four, well, all four in the ring, and the other four outside the ring, and they tag each other in bit by bit. Was it? It works. How it works is like two people are in the ring. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. the teams are on the side, think, and then they can just tag in. One yeah, I think tag. they did that one last year. I think on some pay per view. Um, Wow, well, it's, that's a, this is a tough one to predict because the Usos, uh, I'm sorry, the Usos have been probably one of the best tag teams this year. They've had so many good matches. They've had nearly every pay per view since Battleground. They've had match of the night. They've just been so good. They beat the Bar at SummerSlam. Um, they beat the Usos. Or they, they beat the, <laughs> they beat themselves. They beat the New Day loads of times. They've been so good this year. Um, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't want to see them lose the belts, but oh, but now Rusev and I thought they were going to retain. To keep it to the Rumble, but now Rusev and Aiden English are in this match. I'm going to go with Rusev and Aiden English because I think, yeah, it's got to be Rusev Day at Clash of Champions, and I think <laughs> it's Rusev Day. <laughs> I'm going to get the new T-shirt, love it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with Rusev and Aiden English to become the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Just think of the pop. As, uh, but as much as I want the Usos to keep the belts, I love the Usos. But yeah. I think either the Usos retain or Aiden English and Rusev win the tag team belts. Yeah. Right. Um, well, for me, um, 
These sorts have held the titles on and off for, since what I can't remember which pay per view. But they stopped them a lot with the New Day, and that's why I don't think the New Day are going to win. Mm-hmm. Um, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin are See, they even very over? Not really, but they haven't had a chance to be over. They haven't had that many matches, that well, that many big win matches really. So they could be the dark horse, though. Maybe, but maybe. I think. Mm, they're kind of just in the match I think maybe they take the pin I don't know we'll I see I think I'm going to say the Usos the retain. Usos to retain mm. yeah that's, that was my other prediction but I, I'm, just, I'm leaning towards Aiden English and Rusev but you've got the Usos yeah Usos the Usos <laughs> Mar- this isn't Marvel I, that's Marvel yeah, Vince War okay um, so yeah um, Usos um, Rusev Day so let's go right um, so Charlotte Flair versus Natalia um, oh, this is a lumberjack match for the WWE what? SmackDown Women's Championship. Lumberjack match? What, Lumber- that, what does that mean? A lumberjack match is where you have the two people in the ring and then everyone else is surrounded. Oh, yeah, the ring and yeah. Back in. Yeah, okay. All right. So all the other female wrestlers are outside the ring. So, yeah. So all the other female wrestlers, so Naomi, Lana, Tamina. Why, though? Why? Becky Lynch, all of them are there. Is this so that Tally doesn't run away like she always does? No, I imagine it's to help with the Riot Squad, surely. Or whoever, whoever. Oh yeah, Ruby, on, Ruby, uh, Ruby Riot, yeah. And yeah whoever, whoever's on, on um, uh, SmackDown's that, that group yeah. of uh, invasions, in, yeah, invasion. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm gonna say yeah, Charlotte retains. I can't see them putting the belt back on Natalia. No. Um. I think because Charlotte's on the run. You know, she beat Alexa Bliss in a really good match at Survivor yeah. Series. I think it's great she's now got the belt. Uh, I think, no, they'd be pointing to take the belt off her by Natalia. But, so I think she'll win. But finally, Carmella cashes in. Oh. We've been predicting this for ages and she's never done it. But I think finally, because it's a lumberjack match. He's a lumberjack. Yes, she is. Anyway, um, good song. Uh, Mike Python. Anyway, um, Carmella cashes in at the very end. And uh, I think finally, at the end of the year, becomes the SmackDown Women's Champion. That's what I think. And then Charlotte maybe wins it back at the, at the Rumble, maybe. That's what I think is going to happen. What do you think, Baroness? Well, I, <laughs> I think Charlotte's going to retain. Yep. But I... But I... Right, so, right, I'm going to go with you. I don't think Charlotte retains, and then I think, you know, the people who have been, um, you know, sort of attacking everyone on, on SmackDown, the, the women that came in, when the last, the last title match these two had, um, I think they're going to just go in, beat everyone down, but the um, right squad. Yeah. Yeah, they'll have, they'll have an involvement in the match. Carmella's going to be outside the ring anyway, she will leave, because she's going to be one of the lumberjacks. Yeah. She's going to have a briefcase, knock around with her. She's going to see Charlotte down, mm. and she's going to cash in. Yeah, I think it's finally, they're finally going to do it. Finally. I mean, she's been having that, she had, she's had that briefcase for like six months. And she's not in a feud with anyone, and she isn't going anywhere. Yeah, so she needs it to get, she can be the heel, in a, she can be the undeserving champion in a, in a feud with Charlotte. And maybe, maybe Ruby Riot in Triple Triple Threat. At Royal Rumble, I'd be down for that. So yeah, Carmel Car- both to cash in. Yeah, the Carmel Car- to cash in. So Charlotte Char- Char- to win. Okay, Carmel Car- to cash in. Okay. All right, this match is um, well a little bit confusing. Should have been Baron Corbin the champion versus Bobby Roode. Yeah, but randomly Dolph Ziggler <laughs> has been popping into this match. Added in. So now it's a triple threat for the United States Championship. Yes. Who um, have you got? Hmm. Well, when this first got announced, I was just like. Uh, I think Bobby. No offense to Baron Corbin, but I think Bobby Roode's too good to be in a championship, to be in a United States Championship feud. And I think he should be straight in the title feud, but that's gender at AJ for now. Um, but but now Dolph's in the match too, a triple threat. I, I, I like Dolph. See what you like about. See what you will about the guy. He's a great wrestler. He works hard. Um, he's just never been, never got that big push ever, has he? He's always the guy that's never been quite pushed. But um, great wrestler, I think. I think this, this could be a very entertaining triple threat match. Just good surprises. Um, but I'm going to go with um, Baron Corbin to retain because he's he only won the belt at what? The no, no, it wasn't No Mercy. What was the last chap? What was the last chap? I'm going to give you. When did he have to win the belt? Hell, Hell in the Cell in that triple threat with Ty and AJ. And he hasn't defended it since then at the pay per view because his la- last match was Survivor Series against The Miz, which he won. So yeah, I think he needs, he needs to keep the belt on him for a bit longer um, before. He- so I think he'll, keep, he'll, he'll retain, probably in dirty fashion. Should be an entertaining match. Um, and maybe Rude, maybe Rude wins it at Royal Rumble. But I think to, they need to keep the belt on Corbin for a bit longer. I think so. I'm going to say Baron Corbin. I don't well, think you're going to say that, are you? <laughs> you're basically like 
if you don't. I was thinking about it. I was originally going to say, and I think I am still going to say, Dolph. What? All the, uh, all the time to turn around in my prediction video, I always said Dolph, didn't you? And you were just like, I predicted Dolph against, Shane, against Shinsuke. And Dolph and I predicted Dolph against Shinsuke and Rude. But why do you think Dolph now? Rude beat um, Dolph in, the, in their little mini feud thingy. Um, oh yeah, hell in a cell. Dolph yeah. um, hasn't been doing much in his current gimmick, which well, well I don't do. He hasn't been seen on SmackDown for a few weeks. I don't know what. I don't know where he went. He's just been thrown into this. Well, match. I think he's a part timer now, isn't he? In more or less, Dolph. But yeah. um, essentially, he just came out and uh, he just took the piss and um, <laughs> took the piss of the, of the gimmicks and tried to get them over. It just wasn't working. Mm, that's not his fault. He just got told to that's do that. That's true. I yeah. think he, he, do, he does need something though, and I think um, well, rumor has it he might be leaving. Maybe he wants to. Rumor has it he might be leaving soon next year. He wants to go and do be a stand up comedian. But well, I don't know. That's just a rumor. I mean, maybe one last rumor of a title. It's mid card title. Yeah. Dolph has good matches with a lot of people. He's yeah. a good worker. He does, he does good promos when he's given them. Yeah. I quite I like Dolph as a champion when he was uh, Intercontinental champion back in 2015 for like for like a month and Miz won it back. <laughs> yeah, it was um, good though. I I enjoyed all the promos and the matches he does sometimes. I'm gonna say Dolph because he's in the match. It's been thrown in for no reason, so it's, I don't know why he's there, but okay. if he's there to win, then... I think he's just been thrown into that match to take the pin. Because they want to keep Corbin and Rude looking strong. Maybe. So he's Maybe. put him into that match so he can take the pin for, for, for either Rude or... Yeah, and I, think, I think that's the main reason he's in that match, in my opinion, because they want to keep Rude and um, Corbin looking strong, so they don't want either of them to lose. So they go, um, um, Ziggler, can you come in here so Bobby Rude can pin you, or Corbin? That's what I think, but yeah, Bobby Rude, I think, I think it's too early for him to win it. Because it's like, um, this feud's only been going off for like three weeks. So, as much as I love Bobby Roode, um, yeah, I think he'll win about next year, probably. I think it's too early for him. But So, yeah, you think Dolph Ziggler? I, I think, think Dolph Ziggler. And I think Corbin will retain. Okay, let's do... And the main right, event. The final match, the main event. Yes. AJ Styles, the WWE champion. The phenomenal one. Anyway. <laughs> um... Versus... <laughs> that's, that's, that was that? DX. No, I, did that, I did that. I like that because I'm not wearing the hood. <laughs> Um, AJ Styles versus Jinder Mahal, Mahal. without without the Singh. Singh brothers. Yes, so it's a rematch from the SmackDown Live Manchester match from Manchester. SmackDown Live where AJ Styles won. Yes, and the week uh, last week's SmackDown saw so, uh, AJ Styles versus the Singh brothers, and um, AJ Styles beat them, and then Jinder Mahal turned heel 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 on and the Singh brothers and collapsed both of them. But I don't know whether that was just like a you plant know, the seeds. Well, a plant the seed. Look, they're not gonna they're not gonna be there, and then they're gonna run out, and then they're gonna cost AJ. And well, at a live event, at a live event last week, uh, one of the Sings was holding up the belt to AJ in a picture. Like, here's the belt, and AJ was like, huh? So maybe maybe at the match they're gonna pretend to be his mate or something, and then they'll they'll mm-hmm. trick him, and maybe Jinder will get the belt back. I don't know. But anyway, I think this should could be this could be a good match because let's face it, AJ can give. Bring a good match out of anyone. And they had a good match on the SmackDown. It was Manchester. a very good match. It was probably Jinder's best match in his whole title run. I mean, so AJ can give a good match, get a good match out of anyone, I think. And this this could be a good match. If they're given a good 15, 20 minutes, it could be an entertaining match. Um, but who have you got to win and why? I'm going to say AJ Styles. Yeah, AJ Styles. Because we're both wearing AJ, AJ t shirts. So we've got a back of more. You have anyway. I love AJ Styles. Yeah, mate. I, personally, we all do. I yeah. mean, it was, uh, and I loved him as the champion from you know Money in the Bank last year to when, um, sorry, not last year. That was Dean Ambrose. <laughs> <laughs> um, backlash last year, um, all the way to the Raw Rumble. I love his title run. I love you know the everything. Yeah, he was great. Um, and now he's uh, he's a face champion as well. I'm interested to see how that goes in a feud without Jinder Mahal. Mm. So I think AJ Styles will keep the belt and then go on to feud with, um, I don't know. I think for, for the Rumble, maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll That's have just... to see. We'll have to see. Because a lot. Um, right. Okay. Well, yeah, it's great to see AJ. I mean, AJ Styles is without a doubt probably the best wrestler on the planet. The man, man, the man's perfect. I mean, he can cut a promo. Great character. He's great as a heel and a face. Yeah. Amazing wrestler. He's over with the fans. He has great merch sales. We're two of them. Um, yeah, he's perfect. I, if, if he was just a bit younger, he'd be perfect because you know he's forty-one now. He is. There's been a few rumors going around that he might retire. 
at next nah, year's WrestleMania. I'm like, thanks to yes, because apparently he can draft it. It's not true. He said it's not true. I know, because I think he's still got another three or four years left in him, I think, before he considers he's, retiring. He's very, he's very rarely injured. He flies yeah, like a cruiserweight. He flies like a cruiserweight. He's 41. He's been two-time WWE champ. He's been a US, he's champ. Been a US champ. He's beat John Cena. Yep, be well, he beat well, he came Roman back, Reigns. He came back close to beating oh, Brock. At no, he came this close to beating Roman Reigns as well last year in, in their feud. Yeah. And he came back close to beating Brock at Survivor Series. Beating Ambrose. <laughs> he beat Dean Ambrose, yeah. Oh, God. He beat, uh, G- he beat James Ellsworth? Yeah. That wasn't a big dish. Anyway, so who have I got? So you got AJ? I've got AJ. Oh, you're going to have You're going to You're going to yeah, gonna save. <laughs> uh, my heart says AJ. I want AJ to retain. I want him to. Believe me. But I think those fuckers in WWE... They're gonna give the belt back to Jim. I, I, I just think my head's what my head's telling me because I think the only reason they put the belt back, to put the belt on AJ, was so he could go into face Brock. So they think they knew Brock and AJ was gonna be a lot better match than Brock and Jinder. So maybe now that's over, they're gonna put the belt back on Jinder, and or maybe we're gonna get Jinder and Cena at the Rumble. Maybe I don't know. That was rumored for quite a while. That was. Yeah. And I think I think with the Singh brothers. This little angle I've got, I think they're gonna go. Oh, well, we hate, we hate you, and then they're gonna come back out. And That's give, what I was thinking because they want to give it. They want to seek his forgiveness, so they're gonna come out maybe at the end and trick AJ. Jinder hits the Coloss one, two, three. I hope I'm wrong. I really do hope I'm wrong. I'm wearing this, I want AJ to win, but my head's just saying they're gonna put it back on Jinder. I don't, I don't, and I really hope I, I really hope I'm wrong. If Jinder wins, you need to buy a modern day Maharaja t shirt. I will. If Jinder does win. <laughs> Um, for my Royal Rumble predictions, I will wear I will wear a modern day Maharaja t shirt. That's fifteen quid down the drain, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I hope I'm wrong. I hope AJ retains, but my head's just saying they're gonna give it back to Jinder. But we'll see. So yeah, that is Clash of Champions. Yes, all of our predictions should be good. Um, so and the final pick of you of twenty seventeen. So yes, thank you all. This was this is our final prediction video of twenty seventeen. And we'll uh, see you for the Royal Rumble. Yes, and thank you for joining me, Callum. You're this very welcome. This is my first year with him. Yep. We've done what? Rumble did. Well, no, we didn't. We, we did Fast Lane, WrestleMania, Extreme Rules, I think WrestleMania, we... Backlash, Extreme Rules, yeah. Hell in the Cell. Hell in the Cell. So, so we've done like six videos or seven together. Survivor Series. Yep. So yeah, it's been great having you with me. Um, we we'll look forward to seeing you all in twenty eighteen for our Royal Rumble predictions. But that won't be for quite. Quite a while. So like sometime in late January. Isn't yeah, it, so probably the probably the fifteenth or twentieth of January. We'll do that. So we'll see you guys in a month. So thank you for watching, guys. And I will. Well, I'll see you in my Clash of Champions reaction video in about two weeks. But we will both me and ben, we will both be back in our prediction video in about a month for the Royal Rumble. So thank you, guys. Hope you all had a great twenty seventeen with us, and we'll see you next year. See you Bye. guys.